Hai, Assalamualaikum. My name is Asharifah Hudaibah. My name is Nurul Atika binti Mazahat. And for PBL, our title is Wireless Channel Propagation and Fading. Stay tuned. Problem statement. First, what harm can propagation and fading do to the wireless channel? Second, what is the suitable solution to encounter or reduce the path loss? And third, how can shadowing differ from urban and local area? Objectives. First, to determine on how propagation and fading affect wireless channel. Second, to discover on the type of modeling and its distinctive character including the pro and cons. Third, to seek the suitable solution to encounter or reduce propagation and fading especially in wireless communication. So, the methodology used for our PPL research is first, we use, we use the software where we use MATLAB to search for our result and to simulate our result. Second, we do some research on the internet. And this research on internet was done by the Google Scholar. Uh, we searched for our references in IEE Explore. And third, we refer to the lectures note where we don't want for our research to, do, to go over line and go out of the topic. From the result in MATLAB simulation done for rain attenuation, it can be seen that the heavier the rain, the higher the attenuation of the signal in dBm, where the extreme rain has the highest signal attenuation and the light rain has the lowest signal attenuation. This is due to the diffraction factor which signals interact with particles in air and lose energy along the propagation path. As in reality, signals don't travel in vacuum and the loss can vary with different factors such as water density and pressure. The Okumura model is radio propagation that involves the height of the antenna and the coverage area of mobile communication system. From the result, this model was used in three different areas, urban, suburban, and open area. We used the distance of 1 to 30 km from the graph, we can see that the loss in urban area is higher than the open area. This happens because there are a lot of buildings with different height and size in urban area that can increase the signal fading. For the result of free space path loss, it can be seen that the path loss changes of the frequency between 10 and 1000 GHz. For ranges of 10 cm, 100 m, 1 km, 10 km, and 100 km. This is due to the free space path loss is enumerated as a function of time and frequency. And the RF signals propagate at a constant speed of light but in all directions. But it has reached for enough distance. The radiating source looks like a point in space and the wavefront forms a uh, sphere as the average received signal in all the other actual environment decrease with the distance between the transmitter and receiver in a logarithmic manner. Richer fading usually happen in the line of sight while really fading happen in non-line of sight. From the graph, we can see that the region is approaching really when K is negative 38 dB.